Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're just going to do a little add-on lesson to the one bedroom condo assignments. Uh, we're just going to do a few little tips and tricks how to kind of uh, make it look a little bit better here. We're going to add some baseboards, some windows, and kind of clean up our overall space. So let's get started. Uh, so first things first, we have the, the basic layout here. And uh, it's looking good, got all the walls painted, loving the colors, love that yellow there in the laundry room. Uh, wallpaper in the bathrooms, never goes out of style. But uh, one thing that's kind of annoying are these little lines that we're seeing everywhere. And uh, we can actually get rid of those lines. Now you might be tempted to slip, click on it and click delete. And that is a viable option at times. However, if you delete too many lines, as you can see in that case, um, you will actually uh, break the connection between rooms and uh, or break the, the separation of rooms and you won't be able to have these multicolored uh, floor spaces here. So for any lines that are along walls, you're welcome just to hit delete if you like and it unifies that. We could click delete there, but like I said, once again, if we delete this line right here, it's gonna break the separation between the two rooms. So instead, we can click on it, we can right click on it, and we can hide that line. And that creates a smoother transition. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you whether or not you want to hide all of those lines. I mean, if you delete kind of this double line, it does a pretty good job. But here is an issue. We can get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, and just start cleaning up your space a little bit. It just helps make it look a little bit nicer. Oh, forgot to paint that there so we get that. It'll continue to paint along there. Okay, that's looking a lot better now that we've kind of cleaned up that space there. Um, so uh, running some baseboards in the house is a really nice way to create a nice separation between the floor and the wall. And they're pretty simple to do. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to go to the rectangle tool, get a good view of the wall here, grab a bottom corner, and just drag it up. Uh, about 10 centimeters is probably a pretty good, there we go, 10 centimeters. Okay, next I'm going to uh, paint that white. So let's go to uh, colors over here. Scroll down to see our white. There it is. Click on that. And then, did I forget to paint that wall? No, I didn't. That, you can kind of see the difference there. Uh, once we painted it white, we're going to go to the pull tool and we're just going to pull it out a tick there. And you can see there, we have a nice little bit of separation between the floor and the wall. Looks good. I'm going to do the same for this wall here. So I'm going to go from that top corner up there. Draw it down, click, paint it white, and then just drag that out. Looks pretty good. Then you can zoom in here, grab that line right there, delete that. So we have a nice space. There we go. That's an even distance now. And then we can just continue this along all of our walls. And I'm not going to do all the walls here, but you kind of get the idea. So back to the rectangle tool. Grab that, drag it over, click, paint it white. Zoom in over here, pull it out so you get about the same depth. Select those in between lines and delete them up. All right, that's looking pretty nice here, right? Just breaks up the space just a bit, adds a bit more depth to the room, makes it look nicer, a little bit more refined, if you will. So I'm pretty happy with that. So let's add some windows now. <clears throat> There's a couple different ways to do windows. I'm going to show you one method you're welcome to explore with your own. Um, but, you know, this little nook over here, I'm planning in the future installing a desk. And uh, while you're sitting at the desk at the computer, it's kind of nice to look outside. So let's create a nice big window here. I'm going to start by grabbing the rectangle tool and just draw your window on the wall. Okay, looks good. Uh, so you might think you might just want to delete that, but that won't work because, of course, there is some thickness to the wall and that is not what we want to do. So let's go Control-Z and go back there. And let's go to press P for the push and pull tool instead. And let's push that wall out. Now, if you push it too far, it's just going to do that. And uh, that's no good for anyone. So let's press Control-Z and go back again. What you want to do is you want to push it just until you get this like glitch line. It's gonna say on face. So when you see that on face there, you get the little blue diamond, then you can let go, and it's gonna pop that window out. So once again, you're gonna push. If you push until you see the on face, you're gonna let go, and it's gonna knock it out. Uh, so now let's flip around to the outside of the house. I mean, there's just a hole in the wall now. I guess you could leave it like that, but let's put some glass in. So I'm gonna go to the outside of the house, and I'm gonna go to the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna fill in this space with a rectangle like so. And then I'll go down here, let's add some glass. 
Uh, you know, you could either do the, the blue glass or the gray glass. I generally prefer the gray glass there. And now we got a nice little window outside. We got a good little sill here. Looking good. Okay, so let's add one more window. And let's add a, uh, um, let's add a, a window here in the bedroom, kind of over where the bed's going to be. So, nice big window here. I'll probably have to get curtains for that window, that would be a little awkward. But uh, so anyway, we're going to go back to the push tool here. And we're going to push it out just until we see the on face message. So, oh, there it is, on face, let go. And now we have a hole in the wall, flip around to the other side. And fill in the space. Oh, occasionally you're going to get that weird error where it doesn't fill in properly. Just keep trying it a few more times. Uh, and sometimes it has to do if you're not clicking properly on the edges. There we go. That works. Same thing. Glass. Fill it in. Looks good. So we went a little bit too much there, but we can always hide those lines there if you don't want to see them. There we go. That's better. Okay. Excellent. So now we've got some baseboards. You probably want to continue that throughout the house. We've got some windows. You're going to want to add those in. Uh, but of course your first priority sh should still be getting the, the space laid out, getting the furniture in there, and then if you have some extra time, which hopefully you do, you can add the nice little finishing details such as the baseboards and the windows. Okay, that's all. We will see you guys later.